Hello Gravy Timmies and welcome back to another wonderful video on the Hearthstone 4 DLC where we're gonna check out another nation that has been updated. Okay, and the nation we're trying out today is Finland. That's right, it's Finland, famous for high caffeine intake, high index of living, and a little bit depressed. Uh, it's also pretty famous for a language that is fairly questionable on, uh... What exactly they're talking about. Okay, so with the new DLC, Finland actually has a focus tree now. And not just with the DLC. You see, with the base game, you also now get the historical path of Finland for free. So if you wanted to try Finland out and you don't have the DLC, you get the Finnish neutrality path, I believe, for free. And you don't actually have to buy the DLC to give it a go. And whilst there are some fun little paths here that I'm looking at, I do want to go ahead and do the historical route first off but don't worry I will be back for all of these another time uh, because what's really going to be fun is trying to stop this big old bear that wants to bite my head off oh uh, and would also accept a non-aggression pact I guess I'll take it okay holy moly Manaheim you are uh you are one powerful starting field marshal don't mind if I do oh my okay and uh you have one of your generals you can just immediately put adaptable on to I mean uh <laughs> Sure. So first off, we will be reaffirming our Finnish neutrality, and I'm sure we will 100% be respected in our decision, won't we? Stalin. Okay, so first things we went about doing is securing our political life. You see, now that we have banned all the other political parties, we are gaining trust in, <laughs> in our leader for some reason, uh, which is good, because we need all the support for the... Kakumas that we can get uh, because if we do have high public trust we get some very 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 nice buffs to our defense which we are definitely going to need okay so whilst we have secured ourselves politically we are now working on securing ourselves militarily uh we've got a very limited very limited amount of manpower we're actually gonna be able to expend here so it's gonna be a bit tight. Uh, again, though, we are getting some very, very insane buffs for holding here. If I fail this, I deserve it. Uh, we're also definitely going down Grand Battle Plan for the entrenchment bonuses that we can get from here and become even more overpowered. Because I do not plan on allowing Mr. Smelly over here to get a single tile from me. Uh preface hopefully okay you know how it is manaheim 15 percent defense then we've got entrenchment speed 16 percent division recovery rate 12 percent and enemy air support minus 10 percent yeah you don't know what's waiting for you okay the time has already come okay and as soon as that starts we get all our recruitable population because i am immediately gonna go ahead and get us oh my god we're gonna go all the way up to service by requirement because we need a lot more men out okay we're also gonna do a cry for help because that'll give us weekly manpower as well and once again we need a lot of manpower uh also we can do form a military government just so we don't lose uh any support while this is happening and there is manaheim in charge dancing is now banned okay so we have been holding out for a while now it's not been too difficult we have had to give up a few provinces obviously which um it's not ideal because there is an achievement to actually i think hold every province and not lose any but uh yeah we're not doing that right now i'm still in the achievement mindset uh, but uh as you can tell, we are keeping the Soviets at bay right now pretty easily. And we are just pumping out as many men as we physically can. Uh, the division's exa not exactly uh, anything spectacular. And we are just getting fed lendlies from both the Swedish and the Americans, who are really keeping us afloat here, actually. We've even managed to go ahead and finish our entire doctrine, which is actually quite impressive. Oh, yeah. Also, did I mention the million Russians we have slain? trying to take our land uh, we, we also took quite a few casualties but in comparison they're doing way worse oh and i don't think we have to worry about holding anymore because the germans have gone on we kind of skipped the whole continuation war but we will continue this war uh, okay so i'm not going to join the german faction nor am i really going to start pushing the russians yet i 
don't really think that's a great idea uh, because again I have made these units specifically for defense so pushing with them is not great unless we see them really badly uh, supplied like over here okay now I imagine yep uh, they're not going to be having a very fun time with the axis this game. They are getting absolutely rolled. You know what? I'm just gonna give them a little bit of a helping hand. Just a tiny one. Okay, so now because we do hold Leningrad, um, we could just immediately demand peace with the Russians and I guarantee they will probably say yes, but I think we'd probably get way more on the peace deal if we just help beat them up with the Germans at this point. Okay, so we've retaken the northern port too, which is good because every time I I walk into one of these provinces over here, we immediately just start dying of no supply. Okay, so taking that Russian port up there just killed all of their supply, which is great for us, but also bad for us, because we still don't really have too much supply to be pushing with here. Uh, but it does, most importantly, give us a way better front over here. Um, we've still got a bit more land to retake and push into, but uh, no rush, I guess, considering I'm pretty sure the Russians aren't coming back from this one. Okay, well, I think we've done it We're pretty much guaranteed now. We have met up with the Germans, or I should say the Germans have met up with us. And look, Italy even liberated our island back for us, didn't you, Italy? You're going to hand that back, right? Yeah, no, I'm still not going to push, though. Uh, supply up here is dreadful, so I'm not going to front line. I'm still microing a little bit, but pushing into this all is not very good. If we could get to that supply hub, it would be better. So I am building a port up here. Just give me the extra bit I can get down there, um, at least that is the plan in my head how it will actually go will probably be nothing like that okay that that actually that worked perfectly uh, <laughs> well done mate. i am a hoi for god where exactly that will fit into the old resume a few years from now when this is all done and dusted with i don't know all right and there goes pretty much the last bit of army on my border encircled and about to be eaten by depressed finnish men okay so i ain't even gonna bother pushing any further here we're just gonna leave it to the act to see if they deal with it if they don't deal with it then that's going to be one hell of a comeback. Oh, okay, yeah, the Soviets are 99% to the way to capitulation there, and I am so glad that I've done 1.7 million casualties towards them, because I have 29% total war participation, so I will actually get quite a bit in this war deal, hopefully. And yes, I said war deal, because there certainly won't be any peace after this. Okay, avoid your eyes if you are scared of a bit of peace deal tomfoolery. Uh, yeah. It it certainly ain't pretty. It certainly ain't pretty. Ugh, oh, and as usual, they've left the actual Soviet Union alive. Perfect. And also, we got our island back from the Italians, but they uh, they haven't quite got the memo yet, but it looks... Hey, you see, whilst we did get quite a bit of land in that peace deal, I'm not exactly happy with uh, how it looks on the map. Oh, we're going for a bit of a rebranding. You know, I don't know what's happening in Norway, but, um, this ain't right. Okay, so the plan, if you can really call it that, is we're going to put the Russians to work, considering they have more manpower than me, even in their interesting state and we're gonna recruit a big old army just to hold the two borders here that we have directly with the germans and then i'm assuming we're also gonna have to hold norway now which is fun and hopefully the german ai and the axis are dumb as the soviets were and just endlessly attack me we grind them down the allies come in and we sweep together for victory and i take all the reward uh now because one of the plans went to plan this time around i expect this plan not to go too well okay. God, there is just so much that could go horribly wrong, but I am fed up of sitting around. It's time for us to proclaim a greater, greater Finland. Uh, but yeah, no air force, no navy, no real offensive capability. This can only go well. Okay, well, I, I lie a little bit there. I have made some little meme tanks that I'm hoping just to push Norway out, at least to over here. But it doesn't even look like there's anything here to defend it. So I think we're in the business. Okay. 
Let's seal our fate, shall we? <laughs> you know what? I don't even care. We're going to watch Japan. Okay. The light tanks actually worked quite well. We've got a little bit of an encirclement over here, and we pushed them back. Only problem is uh, no supply can't deal with this encirclement. All right. Build a port, and that is more than enough to get supply and clear this up. Okay. Now we've closed that pocket. I'm just going to leave the Russians and the Russian troops up there just to hold that, because it looks like the Allies are coming in from the other side of Norway to deal with that, and I won't ever have to look up there again, hopefully. Just realize that this German unit, <laughs> sorry, these German units are stuck. <laughs> okay, I'm not 100% on whether or not I want to push. I could definitely push them out over here, but realistically, um, I think the majority of the army is just waiting for me to call my puppet in, which I'm never going to do. So yeah, if I was to start pushing here, they might get a little bit panicked. But you know, I could you, I could go ahead and just leave it there, and it will keep uh, defending. I, although I only have 2% war participation. Not exactly going to get along the peace deal here. Uh, you know what, we'll just, we'll just test it a little bit here. We'll send the tanks across. Hey, uh, yeah, the tanks, <laughs> tanks do very well. Uh, Yes! Okay, that went way better than I expected. We just completely broke them. And there isn't actually a lot of troops here, which is making me think that the Germans are on the way out. You know, if they're on their way out, could give them a, a bit of a bit of a helping hand with their luggage. Yes, the luggage being the souls of German soldiers. And now, whilst it does appear the Germans are very weak, we can't exactly just go uh, straight in here, because we only have a limited amount of troops, so we can't really sustain a really large front line. And you know, whilst uh, we, we are taking land, we are also taking casualties, even if they aren't too many. They do add up, and they will come back to bite us, because there is no replenishing these Finnish men. We will have to wait like 50 years. And then again, trying to get Finnish people to make more Finnish people is very hard, as they refuse to talk to each other. Oh, you know, now that I'm thinking about it, I guess this is kind of the continuation war. We just continued it with a different country. All right, am I even on the board yet with this one? Am I up to 5% and I've inflicted... Well, we, well, oh my god, we've done a million casualties already. <laughs> we've only lost 68,000. So literally all I'm doing is just encircling whatever small amount of troops that I can. And it, uh, as you can see, it, it really ends up adding up. Oh, well, um... <laughs> Screw Holstein! And I'm not entirely sure what to do now. Uh, we're at the point where it's very hard to um, really expand more because we're already stretching out quite thin here and it's only gonna get worse. I'm kind of hoping the allies down here push up a bit and then they take the heat off me. But screw it. You know what they say when in... Uh, Lublin, go wild! Surely there's nothing more exciting than getting cool Reddit in Silkermans while listening yes, to... Angry, finish screaming every time you click a unit. It's, uh, it's really something, I guess. We kind of reached the maximum expansion for over here, so I'm sending the Russian units down to recapture Moscow. Okay, the Russian units are absolutely horrendous, so we will no longer be pushing to Moscow. Instead, we're going back to what worked in the first place. Yes, meets back on the menu. Okay, I, I can't do anymore. I am down to 30k manpower. I'm on all adult serve, and I have a 155% bonus. So I don't think even if I went to scraping the barrel, we could get any more. We have quite literally every single uh, Finnish person that we physically can in the army right now. There is no more. Uh, well, I technically lied there just a little bit because I did take the garrisons off. So now we have an extra 30,000. And there you go. That was the last of the manpower used for this final Reddit encirclement. Oh, wait, never mind. I have one, one more trick under my sleeve. A guy that will give me 200 weekly manpower. <laughs> Desperate time. The Germans capitulated, and uh, that made them very angry because they're attacking me now. Uh oh. Okay, while well, the Russian units are terrible, my tanks are not. All right, fly, my pretties, fly. Yeah, it's actually working pretty well. My conscription is so high, I can actually get a decent amount from the states I'm taking. So I get in there, I take over, <laughs> I put the men in tanks. 
We then take more states, which in turn gives me more manpower, and I get more tanks. For I make way for the mobile conscription tanks here to sign you up to the Finnish army. <laughs> the 300k in the bank right now. I'm actually surprised the war's still going on. We uh, just gotta wait for Romania, and uh, I think that is about to come. One day I was Russian, and then someday I turned into a German, and now for God knows what reason, I'm driving a Finnish tank. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I, I know you're all just recently uh, new Finnish people um, with your Finnish citizenship and whatnot, but I don't actually have enough tanks for you all. Um, in fact, if I just do this, how many will I have and how much manpower will I get back? Uh, down to 20, 21 tanks, 17, 16, 14, hmm. Yeah, not, not a lot of tanks, hey, but definitely a lot of manpower. None of that is Finnish people. Hey, you know, just to make sure that they stay Finnish, we're going to make some units as well so that uh, when the war ends, we, we don't get all this land, we still have them. I guess if they're not going to end the war, I will have to do it myself with my brave quote-unquote Finnish soldiers in their tanks. Hey, oh my god, we actually, we actually have some points to play with here. I don't know what to do. I guess we'll just try and take Russia. Okay, now that is more like it. it uh, let me just annex the other Russia. Okay, there you go. Now that kind of shows us off better. Well, I think we gave a very good showing of our finished gameplay today. Now, that was just the historical route, so we still have to come back and give a good look to those ahistorical ones, which I'm sure are a lot of fun too. But if you enjoyed this look at the new DLC, feel free to leave a like, hit the subscribe button down below for more, because we'll be covering as many as we can. And we also need to come back because we have a Hoi 4 A to Z episode to cover. Anyway, Goodbye.